back to my channel. My name is Katrina, and this is my son, Caden, the little Grinch that stole Christmas. My humbug. <laughs> it is Christmas Eve, and we are going to be baking sugar cookies for the very first time, right, Caden? Mm hmm. We're making new memories, new traditions, and we've actually never made homemade cookies. So, this is something that Caden wanted to do, so we're going to be making cookies. On and Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve. Y'all like our little Christmas pajamas? chat going on. I was going to get us some cute aprons and stuff, but I said, uh, nah, I've been spending too much money on Christmas gifts. So, wow, we're too much money on Christmas gifts. You only got to buy one. Okay, so, Kaden, you ready? Are you excited to make sugar cookies for the first time? Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm ready. So, first, we're going to start off with the wet ingredients. We need one and a half cup of butter. Two and a half cups of butter. Well, one, two sticks makes one cup. So you need room temperature softened butter. You want to open the last one, Kaden? Mm-hmm. Here. Roll this one out. So when you're opening the butter pan, always, like, if there's an open spot, use that. And try to keep your hands clean as possible. So do it there, and then just shake it off like that. Okay. Can you so see my hands? And just drop it in the, in the... Oh, yeah. Don't forget to, to, um, to take that out. Yeah, exactly. I forgot what's next. We got to whip it, right? Yeah, we got to whip it. Whip it real good. Pour the sugar in. Pour it in like so. So now you just want to cream the butter in. Mm-hmm. And you want to make sure that you mix it. And you see how delicious it is? It looks delicious. Delicious. You want to fold it all in. Make sure you get a nice creamed butter. You want to also add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You want to whip it some more, Kaden? Mm -hmm. I want to whip it. Whip, 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 Five minutes to get a good clean butter. I'm just gonna work the side, but you wanna make sure you get everything okay. You gotta get it all, you gotta get it nice. Okay, Kaden, so now that we have a perfectly creamed butter, we're going to sift the flour and we're using four cups of flour. We're going to sift it in here, and then I'll let you dump it in, okay? Mm-hmm. That was two cups. We need four cups. Okay, and pour this in here as I sift the rest. Okay? Mm-hmm. You want to pour it like so. All right. Oh, we just pour the whole thing. So my big sister was in the background fussing at me just because I forgot to add the salt and the baking powder with the flour before adding it to the cream butter. Oh my goodness, it does not matter. But I understand you keep all your dry ingredients together, but oh well, they still came out good. This does not have to be sifted. No one sifted salt. I've never seen nobody sift salt. <laughs> now we have the salt. Hold on the salt. And the baking powder. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this all in before I use my beater. You want it to be, I should have used a bigger bowl. <laughs> and I have a bigger bowl too. All right. You want it to be nice, light, and fluffy. See that, Kaden? I could mm -hmm. never let Kaden do this part because flour will be everywhere in my kitchen. <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth, right, Kaden? 
Yeah. I'm going to use two eggs. I've seen some people use one egg. I've seen some people use one egg and um, two egg yolks. I'm just going to do a happy medium and do two eggs in between. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to fold this in one more time and then I'm going to beat it. He's excited only about the decorated part. Okay, so I don't think my bowl is big enough. Should I keep going in this bowl? I don't want it to... too many other YouTubers. <laughs> so I'm adding one more egg because the two eggs was not enough. And I'm going to add the other half stick of butter. So I'm going to whip that separately. That's still softened. Kaden, matter of fact, you can come over here. Come. You can do that for mommy. Let's see if you, he's going to magically appear. Oh no, where did Kaden when he left the kitchen? There you are, baby. Okay, so this is what you can do for mommy. Let's see what, what tool we can give you. Just mash the butter up and just like kind of like beat it. Okay. No, no, we're not stabbing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to be, be, I need you to um, go ahead and do that. Hold the bowl with one hand like this mm -hmm. and mash it in. It got, I had stuck it back in the refrigerator, so, but it's still a little bit cool. I've never made cookies before. And I gotta get these cookies to come out right. This is going very perfect. Definitely not stabbing the butter. Definitely not doing that. Lord, let these cookies come out okay. <laughs> Kaden was being silly. It was a whole lot of craziness in the background. So let's just skip ahead with me beating this dough because I know y'all want to get to the good stuff. I need to feel it. Okay, it's actually okay. Whew. I thought it was not good. So before y'all come for me and my crummy dough, keep in mind that this is my first time ever making sugar cookies. My son said he wanted sugar cookies on Christmas Eve, so I said, I got you. And I'm trying to work this dough. I'm trying to pull these crumbs together to form something because it was not looking too hot. Just like you give somebody lemons. You turn it into lemonades, give me some crumbs, I'm going to turn it into some sugar cookies. So I kept working these crumbs. I was forming it, I was mashing it, rolling it, flipping it, doing whatever I could to make it stick. It started to come together. I don't know how, but y'all keep watching because I'm going to make some magic in this kitchen tonight. Y'all going to see how these sugar cookies turned out. I probably should have used a, another half stick of butter or maybe another egg and it probably would have been a perfect dough. But hey, you live and you learn. Next year, it'll be better if I ever try this again. Then I remembered this easy technique that I saw by using plastic wrap to cover the dough and to knead the dough. This made it so much easier. First of all, it takes away the clutter and the mess, but it forms the dough perfectly and just... I don't know what it does to it, but it just made it so much better for me. Should have started out with this method. Easy technique. If you've never tried it, definitely use it. So I just kept working it until it formed into a perfect dough. Then I wrapped it and I sat it in my refrigerator to chill for at least one hour. Okay, so while the dough is chilling, I got my sisters with me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. <laughs> this is 
my older sister. Look, I've seen him in other videos. Oh, Not Come on, get it together. We baking over here. Not in this girl. Showing your butt on camera, bro. <laughs> All right, so I told. So this is the baker in the family, sort of, kind of. So she thinks. Okay, so we're gonna do the icing now. We're doing royal icing. So tell us what we need to do, so even though I already. First, we need to measure out four ounces of egg whites. This is pasteurized egg whites. So we're using pasteurized egg whites, and you can use this or meringue powder. Yeah. But this is what I found at the last minute in the grocery store. Yeah, she does you last minute shopping. That up first. You want to shake that up? First. Shake what up? The milk? The eggs. The eggs. Why well, gotta shake it up? Trust me, in the, car, shake up stuff. in the car ride, it got shaken up already. Shake well. Okay. Anything in a carton, you should shake. Mm -hmm. Shake, shake, shake. Don't shake that. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake your egg whites. Mm -hmm. Shake your egg whites. Okay, is that good enough? Yes. Okay. And y'all can tell who's not in the video right now. My son, he's on video games. He just wants to decorate. TikTok. Right? Four yeah. ounces. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pour them in. Four ounces. actually had to go back and add the whole bag, two pound bag of sugar we're using because it was definitely too loose. The icing needs to be thick, almost like a glue. Okay, so now we're getting ready to add the vanilla. We're gonna add one teaspoon and you can add whatever flavor you like to add extra little flavor to your cookies. One teaspoon. Look right. who's back! <laughs> Kaden is back. Can you smell it? How does it cook the bad smell? It's <laughs> antlers. Smells good. Smells good. Okay, one dear. You know, that sure is transfer and Vixen and Vixen. Common and Cupid and Goddard and something. But do we call? consistency for pipe and icing so we're gonna do so we're gonna do two types mm -hmm. one is for piping for the outline and then we're gonna do a flood icing so now we're gonna separate it so that way we can get different colors because you know when you're doing sugar cookies you gotta have plenty of colors to decorate so I need to go to my cookie dough now, but I need to preserve my icing. So I'm going to take this plastic wrap, mash it all the way down to the surface of the icing. This keeps out any air, keeps the icing nice and soft, and keeps it from getting that hard crust on the top. So you can put it aside, come back to it for later, and you'll have a fresh, soft icing. Keep these cookies alive. Woo the this year. Kayden, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. You've been naughty this year. Unwrap that. We're getting ready to roll out the dough now. Mm. We're going to lay out the dough. Put a generous amount of flour so it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. Last time we had some donut trouble. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them about that. We're not going to have no cookie trouble no more. And we want the dough to be rolled out to be like a quarter inch thick. Normally some people cut it in half, but we plan on making as many cookies as we can. So we're even going to put some flour on the pan. We did that before. So Kaden, I'm just going to start it and then can you're going to... Can I do it? Yes, definitely. But let me start it first. All right? All right, so you want to go ahead and start trying to roll it out, Kaden? Mm-hmm. You're going to go alternate alternate sides, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's make this booty flat. Be careful and be gentle. You have to be gentle with the dough, okay? Oh, all right. Go in the opposite direction. Gentle. Okay, then let's start. You're gonna go right in behind me. Press it down, wiggle it a little bit, and then lift it. Come on, here we mm -hmm. go. You gotta go close together and lift it right away. Just get as close as possible, Katie. I know what I'm doing. I use the 
but we haven't used the tree yet. Are you dead? Get another tree in there, Katie. Two trees. Making these Christmas sugar cookies was so much fun and my son had a blast. I believe everyone should do this with their kids, if not every year, at least once to give them that experience. I'll let you know where I got my cookie cutters from, so just keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now we had to cut out cookies twice and lay them out because we had excess dough. So I just repeated the whole process over the second time. You see me using this butter knife because I didn't have anything else to scoop these cookies up with. But it worked out. I bought everything I needed to do cookies besides that. So we're gonna start putting them in the refrigerator. So my sister's gonna take the first tray away. Take it away. As you guys can see, I definitely forgot to buy, like I guess like a little spatula. I actually did have a spatula but couldn't find it. Anyway, so here you see I have the extra dough. So I'm just gonna skip through all of this because you guys already know what to do. You just keep making more cookies. So Kaden, do you wanna tell them where we got the sugar cookie covers from? Yeah, so if you wanna know, you can just go to the link in the description down below. And mom, you're gonna have to put it there because I don't know where you got it. <laughs> yeah, so I got, the, I got these cookie cutters came in this nice little box. And again, these had the, the plastic, um, handles on them for protection and it came with this little child um, roller but this is actually like too small to do anything with but again the link will be down below in the description box and you can purchase these off of Amazon mm -hmm. and comment down below which one is your favorite the house the Santa Claus the reindeer the star candy cane whatever the ornament the bell everything that you see the snowman it could be any one of these. Just comment down below which one is your favorite. Which one do you want to decorate the most? Do you have um, like a design in your head what you're going to do? Well, I like the reindeer. I like the star. I mean, I like all of them. I like um, the, the Christmas tree. Everyone uses Christmas trees when they decorate sugar cookies. And then like the gift, that's nice. I've never seen that before. The candy cane, you know, it could look better. I mean, I, I guess, I mean, it may be because it's okay, not like I wanted a short answer. Like I like it. And then the snowman, why does it not have the arms and stuff? And it's like, and it was kind of And we can be here all night. Then, so, we'll be back. And these are our beautiful, fresh baked, golden brown sugar cookies that we made for the very first time. Soft and chewy. One more tray and we're all done. So I decided not to bore you guys any longer. Here you see us mixing up all the different icings. We had about eight, nine different colors that we had to do for flood and for the piping icing. But you can also YouTube that on how to make icing. I did actually go through step by step, but I don't want to hold up the video any longer because I didn't know this video was going to turn out that long. So just keep watching. We're about to get to these cookies. I even brought Kaden in to mix up the last color and to do a taste test. Let's see how this icing turned out. Tastes good. I'm about to say, don't taste, don't say my ice and taste bad on camera. That's how your cookies gonna taste. All right, so we add some water. All right, ooh, I'm splashing. I'm rushing. Okay, so you see, Kaden got the yellow icing. You just keep adding water until you get the consistency that you want. For the flood icing, again, you want it to run off the spoon. Alright, see that? Mm. Now lift the spoon up and let's see the consistency. Lift the spoon up, just lift the icing up. Okay, so that's a good flood icing, okay? Mm -hmm. And we are all set. Let's go decorate some cookies, Kaden. Mm -hmm. I got shoulder, y'all. You got shoulder? You got shoulder? Alright, let's go. That's a great yellow consistency. Mm -hmm. 
press a mess You said a star? Yeah, the press my star. Can I pick it up and give it to you? Yeah. Hold your paper out. So I pretty much had everything that you would need to decorate cookies as if we were professionals. I had the cutest cookie scribes that I got off of Etsy. I had sugar pearls. I had glitter. I had, you know, edible markers to draw faces. And of course, we had all this icing and we had all different shapes of cookies to decorate. You always want to do an outline. Oh, you're going to go around it? And then yeah. you can decorate. You want the tree? No, I was gonna have the whole tree. Man. Okay, so then you do that. I mean, no, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So gonna after you do the green, do the whole green, then you can do other colors. You gotta around. use this in the middle to um, to spread it out. Do the tree green or either white in the middle. You wanna do green, and then you can do like white lines. Okay, baby. Okay. So my sister Adrian is the perfectionist. So her cookies were coming out really good. She was really trying to show me up because mine wasn't coming out too hot. Now Caden's on the other hand, I was really impressed with his skills. He was really taking his time to decorate his cookies. Let's just go ahead and skip past mine because mine needs much work. We still had lots of cookies to decorate. Tisha's using the, the candy pearls, putting them on her reindeer. They're coming along. Just showing you guys some progress. Yeah, I want sprinkles on my gingerbread. Pour them into your hand. Wait, I need that red. You need the red? Okay, look at that. Tisha's sprinkling. Pour it, pour it. It don't matter. She don't care how you sprinkle it. Excuse you? Tisha not in this. Meanwhile, Caden is just pouring sprinkles. She's taking forever just to pipe that. I can't hold that camera forever. Let's be free. Let's be jolly. Take the arms without the fun. Oh, y'all cookies look better than mine. <laughs> So here we are putting on the final touches of our cookies. It is almost midnight and we just can't wait to sink into these cookies. Please don't use my crummy recipe because I definitely have to perfect it for next year, but I promise you they came out so soft and moist and they were so good. We had so much fun and the experience is all that matters. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm bringing you family fun content every week. So here's what our cookies look like. Oh yeah, we did that. I even surprised myself. But guys, they were so good. We even packaged some up to my neighbors and left some out for Santa. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next video. Right, Kaden? Mm-hmm. Those cookies were so delicious. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year. Now go make some sugar cookies with your family.